In this video, we're going to set up Paddle for a simple SaaS use case. We're going to be using a sandbox account that you can create for free without any verification. But if you want to collect real payments, you need to apply for a production account and go through business verification steps. The interface you're seeing here is Paddle Billing, which is the newest version of Paddle. If it looks slightly different, you may still be on a Paddle Classic account and need to get that upgraded to Paddle Billing to match what you're seeing here. The first thing we want to do is create the software product in the catalog. So I'm going to go to Catalog Products, and here you can see the sample SaaS software I've created. In Paddle, you have products and then you have prices. Prices can be your subscription plans, for example. So if I open the details of this, you can see I've created two prices. Here, each version of a plan, so a monthly and an annual, are two separate prices. You can create multiple tiers, of course, add premium, and then you would add another price if you wanted premium monthly and annual, you would add two more prices. Looking at one of the details of the prices, we can note that we have the base price, of course, we have the billing period, which in this case is annual. The important part to set for a simple SaaS use case is this product quantity limit. By default, Paddle will allow a user to purchase any number of licenses. Now, that may be useful for your use case, but more often than not, the account will just upgrade to a single pro plan. So we're going to restrict the quantity to a maximum of one. And the setup here works for Paddle itself. If you're using Paddle without Boathouse, that's fine. But Boathouse will integrate with this and pick up these pricing plans to show in your Boathouse portal configuration. A couple of other things to note that you might want to change. In the checkout settings, there is a default payment link. Here you can see I have my development environment here as the default payment link. On your live system, you will want to point this to a page where you've added Paddle.js to the page. So that's the Paddle checkout system. The reason being is if Paddle wants to redirect users to, for example, your invoice, they will use this page and it will load in your environment, it will load the Paddle element, for example, the invoice. Another thing to note down here under developer tools authentication, you will need two keys usually for operating Boathouse. If you're not using Boathouse, you just need the client side token. That's the section down here to add Paddle.js, but you'll need that for Boathouse as well. But in addition, you need an API key, which you can see here at the top, which allows Boathouse to connect to your Paddle account. And that's basically all that you need to get set up and collect checkouts. If you do want to respond to checkout events, for example, if a subscription has been created or has been renewed, under notifications, you can add webhooks to your system that you can respond to in code. Boathouse takes a little bit of a different approach. You can just call our API and we will check the subscription state of that user. So whenever the user logs in, for example, you can check are they still active on your pro plan and activate or deactivate those features as necessary. That's all there is to setting up Paddle for a simple SaaS.